Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. So this reading is for Twin Flames, Twin Souls, Divine Soulmates, and it's actually going to be focused on the Divine Masculine because I already did a video separately for the Divine Feminine, which I feel like there were some very important messages that came through. As always, the most important message that messages I feel are for the Divine Feminines. So I will be including that link in the description box as well as at the end of the video if you guys want to check that out if you haven't already. And just real quick before we get started, I do want to show you a couple of dolls that one of my students makes. Um, I had this one actually in, in a recent video, but it was kind of far away, so I don't know if you could really see it, So, and you still kind of can't. So it's just so freaking beautiful. I don't make a commission off of these, but I just think that they are so worth um, at least looking at buying, having, so this is why I wanted to show you. Um, this one she's calling Carousel. I'm trying to bring her a little closer so you can see the top as well as the bottom. I will be including the link to her Etsy shop in the description box if anybody is interested. And she gave me this new one. It's like sitting on a, I guess it could be a jewelry box. It's any kind of box. Um, the lid actually does come off and it also plays music from the bottom so yeah this is it i just think it's like so freaking pretty i wish i could have it on the desk and sh just leave it there for decoration but um it actually doesn't really show so because they're a little bit taller than what my camera fits so yeah i will include that link in the description box so Let's get on to the reading. As I said, this is going to be for the Divine Masculines. We do have the Lion's Gate coming up, which is a very powerful manifestation day, especially because we're also having a new moon in Leo on the same day. So do make sure to set your intentions, all right? It's going to be very, very powerful. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the Masculines currently? Keep in mind this is general, all right? So it might not resonate for everybody's situation. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box as well. All right, so first card out is all tied up, but let's get a few more. Three is enough, so I will stop there. Okay, so we have all tied up, received fear and understanding. All right, so what is going on with the masculines currently is that, yeah, you know, they're feeling stuck in their lives. They're feeling like they are just trapped in a sense. I also feel like this is them feeling that bond with you, but in a way where it is a little bit obsessive at the moment. For some of them, yes, it definitely could be that they are also tied in a third party situation, but that's just not what I'm getting for this particular um, segment of the reading at least. This is coming through to me as them being tied up with you, but also feeling like their hands are tied when it comes to taking action, making a move, doing something that they want to do. Now, whatever that situation is, all right, um, this is something that they are beginning to understand. They are beginning to understand the fear. I actually feel like it's not even beginning to understand. They understand, all right? They're not beginning to. They understand the fear that is keeping them in this state, being all tied up having their arms tied, not being able to do something. It's fear, okay? And they have been receiving this message either through dreams or um, just in any way, just by little signs here and there, synchronicities, or just things playing out in their lives, like maybe someone else telling them um, their own personal situation and then the masculine is seeing how that also reflects on their situation and just having like an epiphany about it um watching a particular movie that opens their eyes about this but there's something happening which is helping them to understand that all of this holding back is due to fear okay so that is a message that 
they have already received. And that's why I'm, I'm saying that this is something they already understand. They're not beginning to understand. They understand that this is fear, okay? At least for this particular group that I'm tapping into today. So let's get into the tarot and see what is going on with them. What is going on with them generally? Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Swords. Sorry, did I say in reverse? It's not in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles is upright. The Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords is in reverse, and then also the Page of Cups. Okay, so... The masculines are actually putting in a lot of effort, putting in a lot of work at the moment. Um, I feel like it's actually for their own selves. I do get that for some of them. This is them working a lot at their, like literally at their job, at their work. Um, for some of them, this is definitely a way of dealing with the stress that they're facing at the moment because they're very, very stressed, okay? So I do get the sense that they are overworking themselves. Um, as a way of coping. However, I actually feel like at the same time, they are working towards something, which we are going to clarify, so we'll see. They are also working towards something, but then also working a lot at work at the same time to kind of like, I don't know, it's almost like they feel like they need to focus their attention on something else as well so because they're so focused on something here that's related to you and working hard for something it they feel like they also need to do something else and so they're also focusing on work to kind of balance that out and get away from that kind of a feeling so i hope that makes sense um page of swords in reverse and then the page of cups It almost feels like this this masculine is not think is trying not to think so rationally, trying not to find the logic in what it is that they are thinking and feeling, um, but rather following their heart, listening to their heart, just allowing themselves to feel their emotions. Let me actually clarify some of these. Let's see the eight of pentacles. All right, the Six of Cups, which is interesting, that was actually the first clarifier for the Feminines as well, if I remember correctly, um, but clarifying a different card. Um, and the Three of Pentacles. See, so there it is. It's a focus. They're working hard on two separate things here. One has to do with the Divine Feminine, right? The connection with you from either, could be from the past, maybe for some of you it hasn't really been, um, you may not have had much of a past with your masculine. Some of you have, some of you haven't. Whatever the case, though, this is the connection with their feminine, all right? This is what they are focused on, but also when it comes to their work and business affairs. So it's kind of like they're, like I said before, really focusing on both. So I feel like actually this is like a withdrawal from like other things in their life because there's just not enough time. So right now it's like work, work, work. What am I going to do about the situation with my feminine? Let me see the nine of swords. The three of cups. Okay, so here's the thing. Because they're so focused on... Um, okay, this I get it. They're so focused on what they want to do and putting in this effort to move towards their feminine for a reconciliation. That is stressing them out. So then that's, that's why it's like this vicious cycle where... And then in order to deal with that stress of, oh my gosh, you know, am I you know really going to make a move here? Then they um, just immerse themselves in work to relieve themselves of that stress 
of and the anxiety of trying to make a comeback, basically. Let's see the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Lovers. All right, the sun in reverse. Okay, so the ma <laughs> the masculine is actually trying to not follow what you are doing at the moment. I feel like they, not that the curiosity isn't there, um, but it's coming through as like what I said before that they just don't want to use logic. They don't want to find out exactly what is going on with you because there is this fear of well, then I'm going to start rationalizing and I, I kind of don't want to see, you know, what's going on. Like there, the masculine is afraid of looking into, looking in deeply into what's going on with you or finding out information that is actually not going to be good news for them. So for some of them, they might be, um, for example, just worried that you might be dating somebody else or that you may not want them anymore or that you're completely moving on or maybe that you've moved away and you're further away from i don't know if you were living close to each other that maybe now you're further away or that you are obtaining certain goals that might make you less interested in them so they're trying to avoid finding out something like that but i'm mostly getting wanting to avoid finding out if you are interested in somebody else okay so it might be a specific message for some of you for this one all right let's see the page of cups all right we have the two of swords in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse all right so Again, it's coming in as, as jealousy. Um, their, their emotions are coming up here. Um, they're, they're really feeling their, their feelings at the moment. And I feel like a big part of this is, is jealousy. But not necessarily in, a, in the negative sense. It's more of, you know, being a little envious of what might be going on with you and the fact that they're not there with you. And again, it feels like they want to kind of block that out of their mind because they just want to stay so focused on what it is that they want to do. They want to focus on this three of cups, which again, like I said, <laughs> vicious cycle, it makes them feel anxious and, and anxiety. And then, you know, so then they kind of... Um, focus on work again. And it goes kind of back and forth between those two um, energies. All right, so let's see what else. Let's see anything else for their energy towards their feminine and hopefully Mannix is not going to knock over the dolls. That would not be good. He's very interested in them. All right, come here, come here. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Cups showing up again. All right, I'm, I'm picking up on some nostalgia here. This is the masculine, I, I feel like this is the masculine's intentions here. This is what they're planning. They want to take action and release this heaviness because they're carrying this anxiety, this stress that is just building, building, building when it comes to approaching you in some way. They want to release that. For some of them, this is also releasing whatever it is that is keeping them all tied up. All right, that fear. Wanting to lay that down, put it down, just get rid of it already, you know, just... Um, <laughs> take action regardless of this heaviness that they are feeling in order 
for that heaviness to go away. So that's part of that stress as well. Like it's just building up and it's like, yeah, you know, it's that reconciliation, right? That they are, that they are thinking about, thinking about the past with you, if there was one um, missing you, feeling that nostalgia, wanting to bring that back, wanting to take action in order to relieve themselves of that stress. It's kind of like, um, you know, like if you have to do um, public speaking somewhere and it's just, you know, driving you crazy because it's anxiety, it's nervousness, and it's just, you just want to get it done with already in order to relieve yourself of that stress. It's coming in like that, that this is something. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of memory because I forgot to delete the zodiac signs. Um, so yeah, I think I got it all in before it cut off um, about this this row here, talking about the masculines having the intention to release this anxiety, wanting to just get it over with when it comes to um, making a move towards you. So let's actually see though what is coming up in the next week or two. So let's see. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Swords in reverse. All right, and that's the second time that we're getting the Two of Swords in reverse. Alright, okay, so this is interesting because I feel like there's a lot of restlessness here. First of all, they're all swords. Um, a lot of restlessness. So I actually feel like this um, anxiety that they are currently feeling, the stress that they're currently feeling, I feel like that is actually going to... Um, intensify this definitely this knight of swords can definitely be action okay for some of you definitely could be some communication talking about something wanting to communicate with you just in one way or another contacting you um, but it's coming in in a way where I feel like it's not going to be like 100% I feel like this is just their anxiety like wanting to do something just to release some of that anxiety but I don't know if it's going to be a hundred percent um, full blown. All right, that's that's what I'm getting here. So I'm actually going to clarify. Let's clarify these. All right, so we have judgment, the world in reverse, and the three of wands, which may or may not have been in reverse. Um, I'm just gonna keep it in reverse. Let me move these over. Okay, so yeah, they're having a lot of understanding, as I said before, I feel like, yes, they've already understood there's more that they are understanding here, and a big part of that is the fact that they cannot move away from you. All right, so this is kind of like continuing on. There is no, there is, there, there is just no getting over you, okay? And I've said this before, it's coming up again. So they're wanting this reconciliation. They're wanting to have the second chance. Like it's so heavy on their minds right now, all right, with judgment being here. But I feel like there's just a little bit of a hesitation still because they know that there is something that they need to move away from. Um, whatever that other situation is. And for a lot of them, of course, it's just going to be something internal from within themselves, all right? That fear. So they know that they need to completely release that. They already know, they understand that that's what it is that is keeping them back. And it's all a matter of actually leaving that in the past and moving on from that, healing that. In other words, knowing that that needs to be um, transformed. So... <clears throat> Yeah, and here with the Knight of Swords and the world being in reverse, again, it's I feel like if there's something that's not complete just yet. So whatever that is that they're moving away from, that they're releasing, it's not 100%. It's definitely taking action, though. It's definitely moving in that direction, okay? the That intention, it's like so set right now. And it could get amplified um, with the Lion's Gate. <clears throat> 
It's just that in the next week, it's not 100% complete, but the intention is definitely being set and I feel like it is moving towards that completion, all right? And then we have this three of wands here. So again, it, it's like, you know what? It doesn't even really matter if it's in reverse or not. This is them still holding that intention and setting it forth. But it's not, again, it's not 100% complete. So it's not like the masculine is coming in and um, this week <laughs> and that things are happening. But I feel like it's definitely something that they are setting into motion, okay? Setting into motion and waiting for that. They do not want to be stagnant anymore. And I feel like this is them actually breaking away from that stagnancy. There is a little bit of hesitation because they're not 100%, but they're very close to that. Okay, for this particular group. So, let's get the final message here. Yeah, so some of you can expect some communication here with that knight of swords. And I feel like if, you, if you're not in contact and you do get this communication, or even if you are in contact, you, you might <clears throat> pick up through this communication that things are being set into motion. Things seem to be moving forward. The, the, um, the masculine is not stuck anymore. It's just a matter of actually completing the task at hand. So that's the final message for the masculines. All right, and we have the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. That's what they're feeling. That's what they're moving towards. That's what all of this anxiety buildup is pushing them towards. To be bold. To make that move, all right? That ace of swords here. And finally release that anxiety of doing so. So, that is it for this time. I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.